amongst all of this, my hunting party and my wife, we get to thinking about stuff that's happened in the past, of which Bigfoot Sasquatch never crossed our mind at the time, never even thought about it. Roger Newman never believed Bigfoot could be real until his experiences at his cabin in the Allegheny Mountains. I heard a knocking which sounded exactly like somebody had a baseball bat knocking on a dead tree. And it would go tap, 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 and this went on for about a minute or so. I'm like, golly, that's weird. So I sat there a little longer and it started up again. And this tapping seemed to be about 130 to 150 yards down to my left in the woods. Then <laughs> off to my right, a little further away than what that knock was, there was three knocks, just three. One, two, three. And I'm like, what in the world is that? I sat there and the next thing you know, the one on my left started again. By this time, I'm getting a little shook up. On an impromptu road trip to his cabin, Newman and his wife Donna found some of their best evidence yet. We turned to go to the cabin. And about 200 yards before we turn off of that road, I looked down over the bank and I, I said, oh my Lord. So we go up to where we turn off. I said, Donna, I've got to go back. I've got to turn around and come back. I think I saw some foot tracks. Somebody's got to tell me what they are if they're not Sasquatch because the strides, like it would take a step here, the next stride is probably eight foot. One Sunday after church, the duo came home to their dinner mysteriously gone from their ice chest outside. We get through eating, and I decided to take a walk out in the woods. <laughs> About 30, 40 yards from the cabin, there lays the wrapper to the ribeyes. Not really damaged. You tell me. Does Newman's story make you believe in Bigfoot? Let us know in the poll on our Instagram. Reporting for Breeze TV, I'm Zoe Mowry.